Slice. Slice is a tool you need in the toolbox. There are so many things you can do with slice. You can keep the ball knife likes low and skidding. You can use it for approach shots. You can use it for drop shots. You can use it for short angles. Slice is a must have if you're trying to take your game up a notch. So first of all, what grip do we want for slice? Well, remember all our racket handles are octagonal, okay? You see it's eight sided, okay? We're gonna give those sides numbers. Starting on top, we have number one on this flat surface. This little flat bevel on the side there is number two, number three, this little flat bevel underneath is number four, and the one on the bottom is five. Same thing for a left-hander going the other way. So we're gonna take our hitting hand and imagine I have an X right there on my index knuckle on the inside of my hand right here. And I've got an X on the heel pad of my hand right here. Okay, so those two X's are your reference points. Now, for the slice, you want a continental grip. So you want to put both of those X's on number two. Both X's on number two. That's a continental grip. Some people call it a hammer grip. Uh, I've even heard it called the Australian grip, okay? Continental, hammer. But that's the grip you want. And why do you want that? Because the racket face is naturally open. Okay, right now I'm holding my continental grip. And you see how the racket's laid back. So if I was hitting a forehand slice, it's tailor-made. But the beauty of it is you don't have to change the grip. You keep your continental. If I was going to backhand, I just change the angle. Now I'm going backhand. Okay, so continental grip is what you want for the slice. So what are the basics? Okay, here's my contact point. Let's say this right here is my contact point. From the ready position, let's say I'm hitting the ball in that direction now. I've got my, I see the ball coming and I know I want to slice the ball, so I've got my slice grip. The first move is going to be turn your shoulders and get your racket up. Now notice my left elbow, how I keep that elbow up. That helps me keep that racket up. Now, as I turn, you can see this hitting arm is slightly bent. All right, that's okay, that's what you want because you're gonna extend it as you go to hit the ball. So you're here, you're gonna set your feet up. Now, I'm starting higher than the ball, that's the key. So I'm coming down into the shot. And notice the racket face is open, maybe what, 10 degrees, 20 degrees. That's about all you need if you're trying to hit a deep slice, you know? And you would, you would come down on the ball and drive through the shot and finish, you know, relatively high up about here, let's say, okay? If you're trying to hit a deep slice. Now, if you were trying to hit more of a short angle, real low skidding slice away from your opponent, you would come down on the shot. You might even be open a little bit more, maybe 25, 30 degrees, and you're finishing lower. Okay, so you'd finish lower on that shot. And then if you were gonna hit a drop shot, that's the beauty of slice, you can hit it deep. You can hit a short angle, you can hit a drop shot. And you can do this on either side, forehand or backhand. So the key is you're gonna start higher than the ball. You're swinging down on the ball. Notice my arm is fully extended when I make contact. When I first turn, the elbow's bent. As I step in to hit, the arm extends, and I'm making contact here. Now notice, too, the non-hitting hand 
goes in the opposite direction. So I'm here, down, the left hand's gonna go back. Here's my contact. I'm driving through the shot. Now, that's something that people that are new to the game or their slice is not that good of a shot for them. You have to learn to swing down on the ball. That's the hard part. Once you get that, you're gonna be okay. Now, <clears throat> remember, you're swinging down. Now, if the racket was vertical and you're swinging down, the ball would go in the net. But remember, your racket is laid back or open. That's the same thing, laid back or open 10 or 20 degrees. So that's going to give you the lift on your shot. It's gonna give you the net clearance, but it's not gonna pop the ball up because you're swinging down on it. That's why slice stays nice and low and it stays knife-like and skidding. So those are your basics. And it's the same thing for the forehand. Even if I just turn this around, now I'm hitting in that direction. Continental grip, rackets up higher than the ball. I'm coming down and through the shot. It's the same thing with the same continental grip. So, you know, and then if you were hitting a drop shot with, this, with the forehand, you tend to just really soften the hand and there's not much finish at all. You know, on the slice, you can really come across it and the ball skids out away from your opponent. You can do that on the forehand as well. And that's, uh, it's a very delicate shot. So it's something that really has to be practiced. So those are your basics. You've got to re have the right grip. One other point I'd like to make. When, let's say you're, you're slicing and you're having trouble the ball is floating up too high. Your slice is not knife-like and, and low and skidding. What you have to do is start higher and learn to hit down on the ball. And remember too, that the more you open the face of the racket, you could actually hit a slice with a racket maybe 45 degrees, but it would have to be a very severe high to low shot. See, the more you open the face, the higher you have to start to keep the ball low. You have to really hit down on it. So those are your basics and um, keep those points in mind and your slice is going to really get better. You're gonna raise the level of that slice. Okay, let's take a closer look here. See, I'm driving those slices long. On this one here, it's a shorter, but notice how low the ball stays. Okay, the left elbow is up, the racket is up about head level. Now I'm stepping in and coming down into the shot. You can see the racket face is open there. So there I'm open quite a bit. I pull across on that finish. You see how the hands went in opposite directions. That helps you get good racket head speed. And you'll see how this ball stays low and skids. That's what you want with your slice. Okay, here, the drop shot. The beauty of slice. The take back, the the disguise is so good. Look at that, the left elbow's up. I could go anywhere with this shot, deep up the line, short cross court, cross court deep, or hit a drop shot. Now here I'm hitting a drop shot, come down into the shot and pull across. Notice the finish is low and across the body. So you'll see that makes the ball spin out to the left away from your opponent.
Okay, here's the short angle. Again. And it's an effortless shot as well, which is nice, the slice. You don't have to exert a lot of effort. Again, from the side, left elbows up. Get that racket up high. It's head level now. I'm going to step into the shot, coming down into the shot. And notice the racket face is slightly open, right? Actually, the ball has just left my strings, but you can see... The racket face was open, hands go in the opposite directions. All the best, guys. Take care.